We're going to cover the solution to orthogonal collocation on finite elements. This is a question that was on the midterm exam here on the uh, dynamic optimization course. If you go to apminer.com and then select, select slash do for dynamic optimization, and then just scroll down here on the right and select midterm exam, and that will bring up um, a couple of files, but also the, the midterm exam. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Okay, so here it is. Uh, problem number one. Okay, so let me just go back to the desktop. So we're going to work through this. Uh, this is going to be to solve a set of differential equations with orthogonal collocation of finite elements. Um, so that's the objective of the assignment. Then we're going to solve the following two couple differential equations from time starting at zero. Okay, so there's my zero time until a final time of one. And we're going to solve the system of equations with orthogonal collocation um, with three nodes. Okay, so we have our internal node as well. Uh, those are the different time points at which we want to calculate a solution. So here they are, 0, 0.5, and 1. So here are our two equations right here. We have x1 and then also x2. Those are our two uh, variables. The input u is equal to 1. We're going to start initial conditions for those at zero. And then, uh, you know, here's the orthogonal collocation. Uh, this is for three nodes right here using Lobato collocation. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is uh, fit a uh, polynomial between these two. And uh, this equation right here approximates our derivatives. Okay, so. We're going to set this problem up and uh, and solve it. Um, we have uh, we want to report the solution of x1 and x2 and the derivative values at uh, time equals 0.5 and 1. So four values total. We want to show um, show the work. Um, you know, so this is. Uh, so, okay, so uh, these two values, I guess this is going to be eight values total. Um, show the work such as a system of eight variables and eight equations. Okay, so those are my variables for my problem uh, for full credit. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> and just a little hint <clears throat> right here. Uh, because these are linear differential equations, um, these equations that we introduced before, those are linear differential equations. Problem can be uh, set up as a system of linear equations that are solved with a single matrix inversion. Uh, you can also check your endpoints with um, with the following. Okay, so we want to we can use this to check our solution right here. If we just uh, create a new model.apm model.csv and MATLAB script, we can display um, the answer right there, the, at least the endpoints. Okay, but let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so I'm just going to put this over to the side, and then let's go ahead and derive this um, with um, the, these orthogonal collocation, uh, this, this method. Okay, so we have a number of variables um, that are listed uh, right here. Okay, and let's just go ahead and start writing our equations. So here on... Um, my discretization, so I've discretized it three points. Um, these are given, these are the initial conditions, those are equal to zero. Um, but we don't know uh, these eight values right here. So we want to set up the eight variables and eight equations. So the first one that I'm going to set up, okay, it's going to be right here at this first node. We know that our differential equation has to be satisfied. Okay, so I'm going to do 5 times x um, dot 1, 1 equals negative x 1, 1 um, plus x 2, 1 plus u uh, times 2. Okay, so when I write uh, something like this, you know, x i j, that just means that, um, you know, the i is the uh, variable uh, number. That's going to be 1 or 2. And then j is going to be um, the collocation point. Okay, and that's going to be either 0, 1, or 2. Okay, this being 0, 1, 
and then two right there. Okay, so my next equation is just that um, this the second equation it right here also has to be satisfied at this first uh, this middle time point, and so I'm going to go ahead and write that one as well. So three times x dot two one uh, equals negative x two one plus x one one. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for uh, these second points. This one first, followed by that one. Okay, so that's going to be uh, 5 times x dot um, 1, 2 equals negative x, 1, 2 uh, plus x, 2, 2 plus 2 times u. And then we have our second differential equation as well. Okay, so we're just writing them out at every point. They're going to, these differential equations have to be um, satisfied. Okay, but now the question is how do I get these uh, derivative values right there? Those are also variables that I need to solve for. And so, I, so I'm going to use these, this, uh, uh, two sets of, of, uh, of these equations right here. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and just write this out in matrix form. 0 0.75 times negative 0 0.25. Okay, time 2 is just going to be equal to 1.0 for both cases. Okay, and then this is 1 and then 0. Let me make this just a little bit larger. Okay, and then this is going to be times x11 dot and x dot uh, 1, 2. So those are derivatives. And that's going to be equal to x11, x12, minus x10, x10. Okay, so what this gives us is um, the derivative values for x1. Okay, so we now have the derivative values, at least two equations that can help us um, solve those. Okay, so let's go ahead and write the same thing for um, the, the variable 2. Okay, just same collocation equation, but now we're just going to substitute this for equation 2. Okay, 2, 1, x, 2, 2, minus x, 2, naught, and x, 2, 0. Okay, so now we have um, our eight equations and eight unknowns. Okay, so the eight unknowns are um, are here, as we um, detailed before. I'm just going to put this into matrix form now. Okay, so here are my equations. Let me just transfer those over to matrix form. And then what I can do is just set it up as AX equals B, and then just solve X equals uh, A inverse times B. Okay, and then that will give me all of these eight values. Now the only reason why I can do this is because, is because these are linear equations. Normally I have to use solvers um, to solve it if it's a nonlinear system. Okay, so let me go ahead and just set this up. I'm just going to go through this pretty quick because I also want to show this in MATLAB. Okay, and how to solve this. I'm just going to write little dashes just to help me keep track of about where variable 4 is. Okay. And I'm just going to set this up as um, x11, x21, x12, and x22. Okay, and then I'm going to have all my derivative values as well. They're just going to be a little bit different order than the ones up above. Um, 21 and x22. Okay, and then that's going to equal is something on the right. So anything that isn't multiplied by an x, we're going to go ahead and put that on the right. Let me go ahead and do that first. Okay, so make that just a little bit smaller. Um, 2u, 0, 2 times u, and then 0. And then here I'm going to have x, 1, 0, and x, 1, 0, and x, 2, 0, and x, 2, 0. Now these are all going to be equal. Um, now actually those are going to be negatives there. 
Okay, but those are going to be equal to zero. So those are all going to be a zero. But let me go ahead and start filling in this, this matrix. So I'm just going to take this first equation right here and just put it into a matrix form. So that's going to be 1, negative 1, a 0, 0, and then 5, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so I just had to move uh, these on to the other side. Uh, the 2u stays on the right-hand side. Okay, um, let me go through the rest of these. 1, 0, 0, and then 0, 0, 3, 0. Okay, and then 0, 0, 1, negative 1. Okay, 5, 0, 0. Okay, negative 1. And 1, 0, 0, 0, 3. Okay, and then uh, I'll just go ahead and fill these in. If you want to, you can spend... Oh, this is going to get a little bit tight here. Okay, negative 0 0.25 and then 0, 0. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and transfer all of these into matrix form. And then I'll put it in MATLAB and then go ahead and just do a matrix inversion and solve it. Okay, it's getting a little bit tight there. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger just so you can see that. Um, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay, so there are my system of eight equations, eight unknowns. And so let me go ahead and just open up MATLAB and, uh, and solve this. Um, the system of equations solve our orthogonal collocation problem. Okay, so I've got MATLAB open. And I've just got, I went ahead and typed these in. But let me just go ahead and step uh, through this in uh, debug mode. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and just add... Um, a path to the APM library. Now, this is what I was showing before, um, the thing that we were going to solve um, just to verify our solution. Okay, just this sequence of files, loading the model file, the data file, and then running this, uh, running this script. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and just go back to the MATLAB script, and I will step. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and solve it. Okay, and what it's going to do is just return um, a solution y. Okay, and if I do y.x, I can see y.x.x1 just reports the first and the last uh, values. Um, it doesn't report the internal node as well. Okay, but those are the values that I should come up with on my endpoints. Okay, let me go back to uh, MATLAB and I'll go ahead and step through. Okay, so there's my A matrix. Okay, the one that we just. Um, defined, okay, and then uh, there's the B, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and solve it, okay, so here are my X values, let's see, no, it's SOL, okay, so there's my solution, okay, and then uh, we'll go ahead and compare them, I'm also going to set this up, uh, just go ahead and solve this ODE with ODE, um, the set of ODEs with ODE15S, okay, and then uh, Let's just go ahead and start uh, displaying the solution. So here's the solution in ODE15S at these time points that I had requested. And uh, let's just go ahead and step through. This is the ODE15S solution. Okay, so X11, 21, X12, X2, uh, 2. Then these are the states with orthogonal collocation. Okay, so this is my matrix inversion. And you can see the difference between the matrix inversion and APM. They're going to give equivalent um, answers. Now, they are just a little bit different than ODE15S. Um, that's just because we're using uh, orthogonal collocation. It's a different method of solving the ODEs. It's a non-variable step size um, approach. Okay, and then here are my derivatives with orthogonal collocation as well. Okay, so there, um, and that concludes uh, the script. And uh, so you can see we've solved um, at all the different points and also at, um, at, uh, for the derivatives as well. Okay, so let's just go back to this problem briefly. 
Okay, so we solved um, the eight variables um, and uh, eight equations. And essentially what we were doing is we just wanted to solve um, for an approximation to this um, set of differential equations. And we had done that by, by uh, setting up and discretizing, so selecting uh, discrete points at which we wanted a solution and then developing the equations uh, that would allow us to solve that with a what's called a simultaneous approach versus a sequential approach.